coefficient of thermal conduction after that we are studying about temperature gradient and thermal resistance these topics we are covered in the last class after that types of uh, conduction now in this class we want to discuss about coefficient of thermal conduction coefficient of thermal conduction meta symbolize meta okay when the heat energy is received by the liquids and gases the particles are changes their direction liquids and gases are called fluids why that are flows that's why we can take the liquid and gases as a stream lines this like this lines these are called stream lines lines this is one layer this is another layer this is another layer in between this layer air is present between this layer air is present between this layer air is present otherwise between this layer liquid is present in between this layer liquid is present this is one layer this is another layer this is another layer this is another layer the area of the layer is a these are the layers means we can treat it the liquids and gases as a combination of layers so that are called the stream lines okay <coughs> now the rate of flow of heat through liquids and gases what is the symbol for rate of flow of heat q by t rate of flow of heat is denoted by the symbol of q by t rate of flow of heat through the liquids and gases depends on two factors rate of flow of heat to the liquids and gases depends on two factors the first one area of the fluid layer fluid means liquids and gases are flows that's why the two are called fluids liquids and gases are flows so that are called the fluids that's why the rate of flow of heat to the liquids and gases number 1 second factor proportional to difference between the temperature of the layers we know moves upwards temperature is more why the temperature is more the gas molecules receive the heat energy value increases density decreases density decreases moves upwards means of course the hot gases are moves hot gases are always moves upwards that's why this layer temperature is given this number of this layer temperature is given that's why we know minus t1 the second factor the rate of flow of heat through liquids and gases proportional to difference between the temperature of the layers now let us take this and we can write as q by t proportional to gain to theta minus Remove the proportional degree. We get one constant. What is the constant? Coefficient of thermal conduction. Okay, we can write theta is equal to Q by A into theta two minus theta one. Okay, the coefficient of thermal conduction depends on two factors. And next of all, what is a unit? What meter minus 2 kelvin minus 1 this may be important for the marks okay and at this point i think you will be asked but uh, the types of conduction important and follow this is all okay the heat is transferred by the three processes conduction conduction radiation Under the conduction, 
we are studied coefficient of thermal conductance then after in that topic only we are studied temperature gradient and uh, thermal resistance after that thermal conduction in that one we have studied uh, the types of thermal conduction and today this is the topic coefficient of thermal conduction now thermal radiation already we have studied the again what is the thermal radiation heat is transferred from high temperature to low temperature without intervention of the media is called thermal radiation what we have taken the example the earth receives the energy from the sun okay right from sun we get light energy as well as heat energy both light energy and heat energy the heat energy is now called as thermal radiation so this thermal radiation has some properties this is very 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 important the radiation is very very important why this topic we will discuss in chemistry and also in the second year physics and not only that one this radiation word we can use rigorously especially in summer also okay and this topic already you are covered us uh, this studied in the lower classes again we are discussing this topic right now properties of thermal radiation now thermal radiation or radiation has wave nature how the radiation is travels the radiation is travels like a wave the radiation travels like a wave radiation travels like a wave that's why it is called which nature wave nature next radiation travels without media for the radiation media is not required if media is there if media is exist radiation is not affected radiation is not affected by the media but radiation travels in the form of a wave next it is to travel it media is not required if media is there it is not affected next wavelength what is the wavelength this is the wave in the wave what it is called crust what it is called trough what it is called crust what it is called trough this is the crust this is the trough this is the crust this is the trough the distance between two successive crests the distance between two successive troughs is called wavelength what is called wavelength lambda okay right the wavelength of radiation starts from 400 nanometer How much? 400 nanometers to 80,000 nanometer. This is important, very very important. What is the wavelength range of the radiation? The wavelength range of radiation is 400 nanometers to 80,000 nanometers. This is very 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 important point. You must be remember wavelength the lies between 400 nanometers to 80,000 nanometer. Next, the radiation is determined by one instrument. The name of the instrument is called bolometer. Which instrument measures the radiation? The radiation. is measured by the instrument and the instrument name is called bolometer the next one radiation is reflected and refracted
refracted actually these two terms reflection and refraction we are used for the light light has number of properties in the one reflection and refraction radiation is exhibits reflection and refraction not only these two another properties of the light also exhibited by the rays but these two are enough okay number of are there but you write this one. these are the properties of radiation how much the wavelength of radiation 400 nanometers to 80000 nanometers okay now the radiation is visible to us especially thermal radiation is visible appears to us thermal radiation is not visible to us just we can determine with the help of which one bolometer okay these are the properties of thermal radiation it important for two marks question not to need that these properties are very very important for you why based on these properties we have some problems in chemistry and also in physics in first year and also in second year okay that's why this is very very important and not only these properties the next to follow topics also very very important for the thermal radiation